Hi, today I want to show you in this tutorial video how we can create rent rings on Google Earth. So that's quite simple, quick and easy. Uh, so to start off, let's click on the link below this video where you will be able to uh, download the program that we will need. It's a uh, Google Earth add-on. So once you have clicked on the link below this video, you will uh, see on your desktop a Google Earth icon called rings.kml. Just double click on it and open this uh, Google Earth window page so you'll be able to see the range rings in the places window on the left side of the screen. From there it's really uh, st straightforward and easy. Uh, basically uh, the only thing you need to uh, make sure of is uh, to place uh, your point of interest in the in the center of the view. To do this, uh, you just need to double click on your point of interest. So let's say you want to draw range rings around uh, this point there. So just double click on it and it comes in the center of uh, the view. From there, you can add your place mark. You can call it whatever you want, so let's call it POI as point of interest, OK. And then you just click the setup box. So you see this form coming up and you just need to fill it in. So let's start by the starting radius, we put 10. Uh, the ending radius, let's put 100. And the unit, we're going to pick up meters. You can choose to produce rings, analogs or sectors. You can also set the line width uh, for the normal radius and the indexes. For the normal radius, uh, we uh, keep an interval of 10, so we will see the circle in orange. And for the index in 20, we will see the index uh, in red. You can also change the color if you want by just clicking on the, on the square next to the name. And you can give a name to, uh, to the region you're dealing with, so uh, let's call it Ireland. Okay? From there, you just need to uh, click on draw, and there you go. You've got your round circles every uh, 10 meters, and every 20 meters, you've got the red index. Okay, so that's really nice for measuring distances and for many purposes. So that's quite uh, straightforward. You can also, uh, if you want, uh, produce an annulus. Okay, so that's that's quite that's quite easy, and it can also be a, a way of uh, building a, a buffer zone for from a point. And you can also choose uh, to build a sector in this way. So don't forget for for multiple use if you want to deal with another point of interest uh, you'll have first to uh, untick uh, these boxes and to right click on the network link rent rings there and click on refresh so you'll be able to do this for another point of interest uh, I hope that you like this little presentation uh, and it you, and I'm sure that you will find it very very useful. Uh, if you've got any problem with it just uh, as usual drop me an email and I would be happy to, to get back to you. Thank you, bye bye.